I'm John Allen Gay, Executive Director of the John Quincy Adams Society. The Society is a nonpartisan national network of students and professionals interested in U.S. foreign policy and in a vision of a more careful global approach that, in John Quincy Adams' own words, goes not abroad in search of monsters to destroy. If you're interested in a foreign policy career, joining the Society can be a major step for you. We work for the intellectual and professional advancement of our members. And of course, being part of our community will help you meet other people, both at your level and at more senior levels, who are interested in the same things and who are seeking to move forward in this professional field. We operate a network both on campuses and nationally. Our campus network is centered around chapters, which hold regular meetings and discussions on key U.S. foreign policy topics. We provide learning modules, which offer a framework for a more rigorous discussion around specific subjects in U.S. national security. Our chapters have brought nationally known speakers like John Mearsheimer to campus. We also operate a publication called The Realist Review that gives students and early career professionals the chance to hone their writing skills on foreign policy. And we hold a summer leadership conference here in Washington, D.C. that, pandemic permitting, brings in dozens of leaders from our campuses across the country to learn the most effective organizing techniques, to hear from experts, and to build their connections in the city. At our national level, we help people get internships and jobs to move their careers forward, not just through our professional network, but through tools like our weekly newsletter, which includes a hand-picked roundup of jobs and internships within the foreign policy space. We have an annual essay contest that's gotten students published in the National Interest, a well-known foreign policy publication. We have the Marcellus Policy Fellowship, which develops the policy writing skills of a select cadre of students and teaches them how to market their policy ideas so that they don't just have nice ideas, but so that those ideas have impact because that's what matters. We have regular digital discussions with top foreign policy minds, and sometimes we hold short courses where experts lead you through key topics that are going to be shaping U.S. foreign policy across your career. Once the disease lets up, we're going to resume having events in DC, like our strategy reading group, that have been centered on the same things as our learning modules, those rigorous, serious discussions of national security topics. In all of this, we're trying to build a new generation of leaders, to put John Quincy Adams' words into action. For the last 30 years, our foreign policy leaders on both sides of the aisle have crafted a foreign policy that has yielded bad results. Nearly two decades of endless wars have cost trillions of dollars, thousands of American lives, and hundreds of thousands of lives of foreign civilians. Yet in all this, we have not made America fundamentally safer. We have pushed our rivals like Russia, China, and Iran to cooperate with one another, rather than splitting them apart as realpolitik would dictate. We've chased fantasies of making very different societies live like us. And we've done all this while ignoring growing challenges at home and global problems like climate change and disease that can't be solved with cruise missiles or counterinsurgency. With all of this, there has been little accountability within the foreign policy elite and only a minimum level of strategic reflection and little actual strategic change. That's because personnel is policy. We need people to make the change. But change makers need a posse. You can't do it alone. By connecting and empowering people who want to be part of a move toward a more realistic and restrained foreign policy, we can make its success more likely. And that vision is one way that we are unique among organizations that you'll encounter in Washington and on campus, our emphasis on developing students, on developing early career leaders. So please join us at the John Quincy Adams Society. We'd love to have you and to help you advance and to make a difference for U.S. foreign policy.